And of course, as long as people can cast a vote, there's still work to be done. Fox's Connor Hansen is live in Washington now, and he's joining us with how the Harris campaign is getting the word out. Connor. Hi, Amy. You can probably hear it right behind me. This party is getting started in Washington, D.C. at Howard University. In just a matter of minutes, the crowd will come in and programming will get started. Around the time, the first polls start to get reported from a few of those early states. Now a record 80 million people have already voted. That's nearly half the amount of total ballots cast in 2020. But this will all come down to who showed up today. We, the people, have the power to shape our future. Coming off a whirlwind day of energizing voters in battleground Pennsylvania, Vice President Kamala Harris is not holding any campaign events today, instead opting to do radio interviews, hoping to win over any more undecided voters. We are tied. Every vote matters. And so I am working hard all day long continuously to get out the vote. There are two choices in this race, and it's about the direction of our country, whether we want to go backward or forward. Harris wants to be the first vice president in 32 years to be promoted to the Oval Office. I will work on your behalf as president of the United States to lift you up around dealing with, for example, the cost of living, bringing down the cost of groceries, the cost of housing. As part of that effort, her running mate, Minnesota Governor Tim Walls, making a final pitch to voters in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. This will be won by one or two votes per precinct in places like Pennsylvania. This is a time when there's a privilege to live in this country and a responsibility. Um, get out and vote. And Vice President Harris, of course, will be here at our alma mater, Howard University. She's saying this will be a full circle moment. It's actually the first place she ran for office as freshman class representative. Back to you. Well, Connor, I know it is still early. It looks like uh, some of that music is over with for now. Uh, do you know when the vice president is expected to actually arrive? Uh, and do you want to speak a little bit about the security measures that you're seeing there? Right, we're expecting the vice president within the next couple of hours here as those states start to close and those results come in. We know students from Howard University will be let in in just a few minutes to fill up some of the stands here. And the actual program starts around 8 o'clock when that prime time coverage really starts around the country. And yes, security has been tight here. As you can imagine, when we showed up today, blocks and blocks were closed off to the public and we had to get through several rounds of security. All right, well, we will certainly wait and see. Thank you so much, Connor Hansen, reporting in Washington, D.C.